Hi everyone, it's day 12 of the 30 days, 30 tips on productivity. Before we start, I would like to remind you to please like this video if you like the content so that I can know that you like it and make more of it. And if you're interested in being um, alerted about the upcoming videos, please do subscribe. And don't forget to leave me a feedback about what you think about the, these videos, these pieces of content, so that I can cater more to your needs. Without further ado, today we are talking about the eight-hour workday. I find that many of us misunderstand the eight-hour workday. And I was one of these people uh, before I came to this realization that I'm going to share with you in this video. Many of us think that we should be producing eight hours worth of work in a workday that's eight hours long, right? I mean, it sounds almost logical when you, when you say it like that. But the fact of the matter is that most human beings, I mean, like a, a huge majority of the humans, myself included, cannot focus and do this deep, creative, productive work more than approximately three hours a day. Actually, the, the, the exact number changes between two and five hours a day. Let's take the average of three to uh, three and a half hours. So that is your most productive time in any given day. Beyond that time, you will have to do other types of work. Um, if you have been following this series, this um, tip actually builds on the tip I gave three days ago about the 3F tactic, the 3F method, talking about uh, the focus time, flex time, and the free time we have during the day. So I would like to encourage you to think about how many hours a day you can be realistically productive. Basically, this this is an answer that can only come from you. This is related to your self-awareness. So you have to track yourself, your, um, your attention levels, your energy levels, and how you're able to uh, go through your day when you are uh, supposed to be doing those intellectual, um, creative, and productive work. And the answer you come up with, you have to accept. And this will change. The, this answer uh, might change from day to day, week to week, month to month, year to year, of course. So what is important is to set realistic expectations around your, your workday. And the, the, the amount, quote unquote, amount of the work that you can do. And as academics... We do a lot of intellectually, mentally draining work. And it is very normal that our most productive hours would be a bit shorter than an average, uh, I don't know, let's say uh, office worker, right? And before I finish this video, I would like to give you some ideas around um, some historical figures intellectuals and their uh, work time during the day. So let's start with Charles Dickens. Um, apparently he was known for working five hours per day, not more. Thomas Mann was known for working four hours a day, uh, from which the three would be the focused time and one hour would be more flex time. That's this editing and all. Let's move on to Charles Darwin, who was working three hours in a focused way and one to two hours more 
flex way. And uh, Henri Poincaré also was uh, doing only four hours of creative work in a day. There you go. This was the tip of the day. Please don't misunderstand the eight hour workday, which is basically a remnant of the Industrial Revolution and uh, basically a number that we were able to get to by reducing, 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 and with the with the you know eight hour movement, eight hours of rest, eight hours of work, and eight hours of what we want. And basically that was a very long time ago. That was decades ago before we came to today's way of working. And this level of expectations from our intellectual uh, energy uh, that we, we are able to harness in one day. That was the tip of the day. Tomorrow, I'll be back with another tip. And until then, mind your own revisions. <laughs>